Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm going to be sharing another one of my short stories. Uh, I've done a couple of these so far. They seem to do just as well as any other videos. So why not continue it with another short story and then give the, the little short stories a break for a bit. So this will be the last one I do for a bit. Uh, at least most likely unless something happens and I need to make a video and I have literally no ideas. And otherwise, otherwise that, that, that this, this, this will be the last one for a while. So anyway... I'm just going to jump right into it. This story is one I simply love to call Why. It was a fantastic summer day. The sun was setting and the fun had reached its peak for our hero. They returned to the bedroom and set a small bag on a chair while they adjusted their hair in the mirror. Getting their hair just right was a top priority for them, but they couldn't get it the way they wanted. Somehow, they spent a solid hour in front of the mirror. As soon as they got their hair good enough, they would then have an unbearable itch on their head, and scratching it would result in losing all of their progress. Why is your hair so important? A voice questioned. Our hero was ready to speak and answer. They turned to the door, but before the first word could be uttered, they realized they were alone. To make sure of it, they opened the door and looked into the hallway. Am I thinking too loudly? They wondered. Our hero decided to close the door and skip working on their hair, then moved on to looking for a better outfit. Unfortunately, our hero was met with another strange thing. What the hell happened to all of my shirts? They bellowed as they saw the horror. All of their shirts were stained random colors, and this was, of course, a big inconvenience. Our hero pulled shirt after shirt from the closet. They rubbed their hands on the stains, hoping it would somehow wipe the stain off. Alas, the clothes were ruined. They reached for their pants and discovered an even more upsetting fact about their clothes. All of their pants had been ripped to shreds. What the fuck? What's wrong with what you are wearing? A voice pondered. Our hero turned around as quick as possible. They were ready to punch whoever this voice belonged to. Unfortunately, this voice had no visible source. Our hero paused for a moment before stepping slowly to their bed. Aha! They shouted triumphantly as they looked under their bed. Triumphantly was a bad word to use here because in reality they had failed horribly to find any source of this voice. You won't find me under there, the voice explained. The hero rushed back to the closet. They shoved their clothes out of the way so that they could look deeper into the closet. Alas, there was nothing. You won't find me in the closet, the voice explained. Where the hell are you? Our hero demanded. You would blunder to look in your dresser, the voice offered. Our hero rolled their eyes and opened a drawer to their dresser. Inside were more ripped pieces of clothing. Our hero gasped and checked the other drawers. Socks and undergarments, cute little hats, and that one thing that they hid from their parents. All destroyed. How could you do this? Our hero yelled out. Just who are you? Why would you need socks? Why would you need underwear? Bras, panties, cute little hats, or secrets? The frustration in our hero's voice and physique were apparent as they tried to find out what to do. They trembled in anger. Because I do! A loud booming thunder shook the room and our hero jumped back. The thunder came from everywhere and echoed back into everything. Why do you need such volume? The voice asked. The hero tried to yell, because I do. But their voice had been damaged. This made them even angrier. But the anger didn't last. Why do you need to be angry? Because you are ruining all of my things. Our hero was afraid now. This thing, whatever it is, whoever it is, has managed to destroy so many of their things and has power they could never fathom having. Why is anything ruined? The voice wondered. Because you stained and tore all of my clothes like some kind of demonic moth. Is that what you are? The are you the mothman? The ground cracked under our hero's feet. They looked down at the ground and saw as their shoes began to disintegrate on their feet. The hero jumped out of what was left of their shoes and stood on the bed. What reason do you have these on your feet? Stop it! Please, just stop it! Our hero cried out. For what reason would I stop? The voice wondered. The bed began to sink into the ground as it defied just as much logic as anything else and slowly became a jelly-like substance. Our hero was still in tears, panicking and searching for some way to end all of this. Why do you need to be able to cry? With that question, our hero's tears floated off their body and into the ceiling, which seemed to get further and further away. Our hero defied the odds and continued crying, but with each new tear, it met the same fate. Why are you doing this? Our hero begged to know. Why must you ask questions? The voice replied. Because I need to know. I, I, I have to know so I can stop you, our hero explained. Why would you even bother? The voice asked. This time the voice was new. It was the same force, but something about it was changing. The lights flickered and more things in the room began to disintegrate or turn into a jelly-like substance and sink. 
Our hero was stuck in the ground, up to the waist, but they kept fighting back. They wiggled and grabbed onto whatever they could, the curtains hanging from the window. It wasn't very durable, but they used it to pull themselves up a few inches. Why save yourself? The voice wondered. The curtain rod broke and our hero lost under their chance at freedom. Our hero did not give up. They found the curtain rod and used it like a cane to push themselves out of the ground. Because I don't want to die, our hero groaned. Then why do you not save yourself? The voice questioned. The curtain rod dug into the ground like mud and was now useless as a way out to our hero. There wasn't anything else our hero could do. Why can't you save me instead of kill me? Our hero proclaimed in desperation. Everything froze. The light stopped flickering and remained on, but dim like a spotlight on our hero. The realization hit them, and they became hopeful. The ground became solid enough for the hero to start pushing themselves out with just their hands. Because this is a fate that you have chosen, the voice answered. It was just as scary as before, but somehow it did not seem like it was going to offer mercy. Our hero pulled themselves all the way out of the ground and took quick breaths. I didn't choose this. Let me free, our hero begged with a cough. Why do you even breathe? The voice questioned. Our hero coughed even more and fell onto their knees. They understood what was happening. The voice was taking all the air from the room. Time was running out if they couldn't find a way to stop this. Why will no one save you? The voice asked. Why does no one care? It added. Why have you given up? Our hero looked at their arms. Blood was beginning to appear on them and drip off. Some of it went up with their tears instead of down. Our hero gasped and collapsed entirely on the floor. Why could I not beat this? The voice echoed one last time. The light in the room faded into nothing. The spotlight on a hero left them in their own pool of blood. Blood that spread over onto everything and a horrific scene left only for our hero's family to discover and question why. And that's that short story. Yep, that's right. It's very dark and it ends horribly. Yep, that's right. Uh, very sad and tragic for a hero. There's no, like, just some random plot twist at the end where they're like, oh, but wait, they're alive. No, they just died. That's right. They just straight up died. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that short story regardless of that very tragic ending there. Uh, I really love this one. This is one of my favorites out of the short stories that I've done so far. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, as well, as always... Uh, let me know if you guys have any uh, critiques, uh, questions, or anything like that for either the gameplay that I'm sharing here with you or with just the story itself. I would very much appreciate any kind of critiquing or any kind of feedback you can give me on anything you've seen or heard here today. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing. Uh, I make all kinds of videos uh, Ponytown related. I have, of course, done a couple of these other short stories. So if you are new, uh, maybe stick around and, and uh, check out some of the other stuff. But for now, when you do any of those number of wonderful things, not only do you get to become wonderful yourself, but you also uh, get access to wonderful content such as this. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful. Stay wonderful.